All right, hockey fans, welcome back to the Madame Athletic Center. As we get you set for this low vision and development division game between the Arenas and the Toros. And we're underway here as the Arenas wearing yellow move the puck ahead with Zach Robinson. Robinson has it poked away from him. Still with the puck on his stick, Zach Robinson working around the near side boards. A bit of a change here in this game in the low vision and development division. Typically, we had had a sighted player coach on the ice with the players to help guide and locate the puck. But it seems as though that's been eliminated from the game here today. So Zach Robinson brings the puck into the zone. Again, they still do not institute the one pass rule here in the low vision. As once the players gain entry into the offensive zone, they're eligible to take a shot. Robinson had a great game yesterday. There he rips one. Oh, what a save by Manella as Robinson had thoughts of going top shelf with that shot. Plays it back to the line for John Chocolate Milk Tea as he was so excited yesterday because he ended up with, I think it was a four gallon jug of chocolate milk. I mean, this guy just pounds it back as he battles against the far boards with Randy Cameron for possession of the puck. Stepping in and digging it off the wall is Christopher Meyer. Shot right on and Deutscher makes the save. His first of the day. John T clears the puck down the ice. We're playing a 20 minute run time period here. As Danielle Main picks it up now for the arenas. She makes the pass over to Ben Holung. Ben passes it ahead to Amos Ackerman. Ackerman has it stripped off his stick by Don Cruz. And then it's quickly shot back inside the Toro zone where Dave Poitavin comes up with it. Poitavin had an incredible game yesterday for the Toros. As Don Cruz takes possession. Cruz gets around the first player. Can't get past the second man, and now it'll be Ackerman giving chase against Poitavin. Poitavin pulls it back, gets around the forward check of Ackerman, and plays it past Shannon Murphy onto the stick of Don Cruz. Cruz takes the shot, it goes off the side of the goal. Centered back out front, Poitavin can't quite get the handle initially. Picks up the puck now at the top of the faceoff circles. Fires a shot, but Ben Ho Long able to block that attempt. Shot coming off the stick of Emily Molchan. She just missed with that attempt. Emily was the mystery player that we couldn't identify yesterday. And you guys wonder why I go across the street. It's to get that kind of information. If I didn't go across the street last night, I never would have found out that Emily was the player wearing number seven. So I'm not just going to have a good time. I'm there to do research. <laughs> I, I don't think I sold it to the AMI guys. They're not believing me. <laughs> Brock Richardson saying, whatever helps me sleep at night. Yes, that always helps me sleep at night. <laughs> Bit of an equipment issue with one of the players on the ice as Christopher Meyer gets his bucket strapped up. And John T tracks it over to the far side hash marks. John T unable to keep the puck in the zone. Meyer grabs it at center ice, but it's Randy Cameron wrestling it away from him. Cameron brings it into the zone. Oh, a big hit there as Cameron ends up losing a glove on the play. And they'll whistle it down for player safety. Oh, 
Sean Creelman gets set to take the face off for the arenas. He has absolutely been lighting it up here this weekend. A hat trick in each of his games so far as the shot from Randy Cameron goes wide and I should say a hat trick plus because in the first game, I think it was five goals that Creelman ended up with. Yesterday, I think he had four if I recall correctly. And there he had a chance on the wraparound, but it gets snuffed out. And then Creelman gets dumped, and that's going to be a penalty here assessed to the Toros as behind the goal, the physical play, a little too physical. And it's going to be Christopher Meyer heading to the box. And I think tripping will likely be the call. Cor correction, it's going to be a cross-checking minor issued to Meyer. So the arenas have the power play opportunity here and off the face off, they scrum for possession. Ackerman tries to gain it. He has it at the top of the blue line. Ackerman checking his options. He's got Brian McLean with him, challenged by Robinson. Ackerman shoots and that just streaks wide of the near side post. Puck off the stick of Brian McLean out across the blue line. As Salman Chowdhury, or check that, that was Ted Mortagu making the play for the arenas. Creelman first back there for the team in red. As a member of the Chicago Blind Blackhawks Hockey Club dumps the puck in. Ackerman gives chase, Creelman holds it in along the boards. Creelman lets the shot fly, and that just goes wide as well. A chance for the Toros to clear it out. Boydevin can't do on the initial attempt. John T makes it off the boards and across the line on the second effort. Ben Holung brings it back into the zone with 35 seconds remaining here on the power play as Boydevin sends that down the length of the ice. Danielle Main gets to it in the near corner as she's being pressured by Emily Molchan. And now it's played to the near side with 17 seconds left on the power play. Ben Ho Long will just backhand that one out between the blue lines. John T ends up colliding with Amos Ackerman. Both players able to pop back up to their feet okay. As Daniel Main scoops up the puck, the penalty to Meyer now over. So we're back to even strength hockey. They try work up the far side wing. That's Creelman taking on Cruz. As Ackerman pokes it away from Don Cruz. Ackerman tracks it, shoots, oh, just over top the goal. As he flipped that one high and wide. Ben Holung settles down a rolling puck, takes a swooping shot, and that one goes into the far corner. John T, his pass attempt gets blocked. Don Cruz comes up with it now for the Toros. Cruz brings it across center ice into the zone as he pulls it back out on the wrong side of the blue line. And on the delayed offside, that should give the arenas some time to lead a breakout. Here goes Brian McLean for the arenas. Plays it ahead to Ackerman. Ackerman, he's got Ho Lung with him, can't make the return pass. As Shannon Murphy swoops a shot that hits the side of the goal and he slams his stick on the ice knowing that he came oh so close to scoring one. 
Here goes Zach Robinson. 10-20 remaining in the period. Robinson shoots just wide of the near post. Shannon Murphy clears it out across center, picked up by Don Cruz. Near side for Robinson. Robinson shoots. Good block there by Ben Ho Long as he gets a stick in the way of the shot from Robinson. Far side hash marks. The puck gets picked up by Shannon Murphy as he flips it ahead intended for Randy Cameron. Don Cruz backhands it, where it's picked up by Robinson. Robinson across the blue line, cutting towards the goal. Oh, great pad saved by Manella as he continues to shut the door on Robinson. Nice stick handling by Randy Cameron. And now Randy Cameron's got a room to skate. He takes the lane right up the middle. Shoots, oh, he just missed on that attempt as he unleashed a bullet from his stick, but couldn't quite find the target with that shot. Puck goes the length of the ice. They'll call it icing here against the Toros with nine minutes remaining in the first period. You're tuned into the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament, streaming live on AMI-audio and through our Canadian Blind Hockey YouTube page. My name's Nico Cardarelli. Very pleased to be here once again as this broadcast put on in conjunction with Parasport TV. Check us out, www.parasport.tv. Off the faceoff, Randy Cameron tries to corral it. Brian McLean as well, but it's Emily Molchan who fights through a hook, fights through a couple of hooks, and she does really well to draw a penalty there as it's gonna be Randy Cameron who gets ticketed for the hooking minor. I think that was referee's choice. You could have pulled either Randy Cameron or Brian McLean. Both were basically water skiing on the back of Emily Molchan, hooking under her arms as they went for the ride. Let's give a shout out to Darcy and Sandy who are cheering on the Toros. If you're tuned in, let us know who you're cheering on, where you're watching from, and we'll get to a few more viewer shout outs. But in the meantime, it's the Toros with a power play opportunity, but here goes Sean Creelman shorthanded. Creelman tries to get past John T, but T, fleet of foot, gets back and cuts off that lane. Creelman stick handles his way around. And the puck gets cleared to the line. I should have mentioned that we're playing four aside at even strength. So this is a four on three power play because of that for the Toros. Creelman picks it up in his own zone with a minute 20 left on the man advantage. Creelman hammers it off the boards in front of his own bench and sends it down the ice. Here goes Emily Molchan, bringing the puck up for the Toros. Driving wide, trying to get past Creelman. Molchan unable to get the puck clear, and then Creelman fires it down the ice with just 45 seconds remaining on the power play. Johnny Chocolate Milk feathers that one up the ice, but it's picked off by Ben Ho Lung and sent back the other way as Amos Ackerman racing after it. Ackerman tries to guide it right on goal, but nothing doing on that chance as now it's on the stick of Zach Robinson. 22 seconds remaining here in the power play. Robinson and Ryan Cousy skating into the zone together. It gets poked away from Robinson as Ben Ho Lung has his stick lifted as he tried to corral the puck. Robinson brings it into the zone, inadvertent collision between Ho Lung and Kusi. Robinson tries the sharp angle shot, that also gets stopped, and then Danielle Main able to clear it out. 
Randy Cameron now out of the box, so we're back to even strength, four on four hockey here, with 5.20 remaining in the period. Delayed offside, and it's whistled down against the Toros, so we'll have a face-off with five minutes remaining in the period. Let's give a shout out to Tiffany, who's cheering on both teams here today at the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament in this low vision and development division game. Well, Spartacus comments saying, Sean Creelman for tourney MVP. You can certainly make the case that Creelman has been the MVP here in the low vision and development division as he is scored seemingly at will in his first two games. Although today here he's yet to find the back of the net. Both teams have yet to find the back of the net. We're still scoreless with four and a half minutes left in the first. Kusi collides with his own man. He pops back up and more frustrated than hurt. Kusi tries to soldier on for the Toros. From his backside, Ben Ho Lung makes a good play to sweep it to the far side boards, where it's picked up by Ackerman. Ackerman splits the D, tries to drive the net, and it's poked off his stick at the last second by Emily Molchan. Emily bringing the puck up here for the Toros. Two defenders to beat, she flips a long shot that just trickles wide. Molchan picks up the puck once again behind the goal. Challenged by Ho Lung, it's Ackerman who takes possession now for the arena, says he's checked closely by Kusi, and then Don Cruz comes in to steal the puck away from him. Cruz all the way behind the goal. Centers in front for Molchan, she's at the hash marks but can't corral it for a clean shot. Great defensive play there from Shannon Murphy. Oh, beautiful play by Dave Poitavin. Gets around a defender, rips a shot, and that goes about a foot wide of the near post. Three minutes remaining here in the period. Poitavin plays it down low behind the goal. Ackerman tries to separate him from the puck. Poitavin comes up with it, centers out front. Molchan taking a whack at it. Chowdhury there as well. Neither one can get a clean shot on goal. Poitavin, sharp angle shot. Main gets a piece of that one. Puck rolling around, Ackerman fighting for it against Molchan, and it's Ackerman who's able to win that battle and clear it across the line. Let's give a shout out to Molly Bray cheering on Danielle Main, rooting her on from Vancouver and Toronto. Of course, Danielle part of the arena says that shot from Don Cruz gets blockered aside by Francis Manella as the Toros mounting some pressure right now. Chaudhry has it swiped away from him and now it's on the stick of Cruz who plays it back for Meyer. Meyer overskates it. As Randy Cameron has it in his skates, he gets dumped, no call there as the stick got between his legs and I think Randy a little bit upset that there's no penalty on that call. Puck shot over to the far side wing with a minute 38 remaining in the period. Drex Sisson, who's making his tournament debut here this weekend, does a good job on the left wing to make the play. Here goes Sean Creelman, brilliant stick lift by John T to take that chance away from Creelman. Puck shot into the zone, offside called against the arenas. And they'll have the face off outside the blue line with 110. And actually check this, this is gonna be a penalty call here against the Toros, which they vehemently disagree with, but it's John T who's gonna serve the two minute minor for high sticking as we've got 55 seconds and counting down going here left on the clock. Let's give a few shout outs here on our live chat thread, including one to Perry who says, Ben Ho Lung, gotta be Aurora's finest. Ben out there right now for the arenas on this power play. 
They win the faceoff. Benton battling for a possession. As Meyer tries to get it, we get a shout out as well for Chris Meyer in a moment. Shot by Creelman off the post. What a chance. He nearly opened up the scoring here in the final 20 seconds. Creelman plays it down low for Cameron. Mulchin gets to it first. Just 10 seconds remaining in the period as the arenas are going to have to hustle if they want to capitalize before the buzzer. Well, that'll do it for the opening 15. A very tight contest as after the opening period, these two teams remain scoreless. 0-0 between the Toros and the arenas in this 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament Low Vision and Development Division game. Well, let's get you set for the second period of play here in this low vision and development division game. And before we get the action back underway, let's get a couple of viewer shout outs and let's give one to Katie as Craig Mathias and Katie are cheering on Christopher Meyer from the Indiana Blind Hockey Program. Mathias says, stay out of the box, Chris. Well, he's doing a good job out there for his team, the Toros, as they still have a minute left on the penalty kill and a good job to send the puck down the ice where Ben Ho-Lung has to retrieve it from inside his own zone. Ho-Lung starts to skate it out. He's got Creelman on the right wing. Ho-Lung controls it, now dishes it in for Creelman as he gets the puck in deep. Poitavin fires it to the line, not out. Big play there by Ho Lung to keep it in. But Don Cruz able to follow up there and clear it down the length of the ice. Brian McLean comes up with it first for the arenas. He fires it around the far boards straight to Ben Ho Lung as there's just 15 seconds remaining in the power play now for the arenas. The final five seconds tick off the penalty, so that'll do it for the four on three power play for the arenas. As they start to break up the ice here and checking out the live chat three feed, we get a great comment coming in. A nice block shot there from Dave Poitavin as he sends it down the length of the ice. Puck sitting at the hash marks as it's picked up by Ben Ho Lung. Backhands that one out of the zone. And just as quickly it's fired back in. Ho Lung with the puck. Ackerman. Taken away from him by Emily Molchen. Molchen brings the puck into the zone. Teeing up a shot, she rips it just wide of the near post. Emily Molchen still with the puck on her stick. Wheeling around through the high slot and that shot also just went wide. 
We had some, a couple of high scoring affairs in the first two games of this series, but it's a much more staunch defensive battle here this morning as we're now into the afternoon. As both teams still scoreless here in this game. Let's give a shout out to Don Brewster who's cheering on Zach Robinson and a proud grandfather as he watches his grandson play. Zach had an incredible game yesterday and he's, well he's generated the best chances in this game so far for the Toros as he's had three quality scoring opportunities all turned away by some spectacular goaltending from Francis Minella. Brian McLean gets tripped up on the play. That'll be a penalty against Salman Chowdhury, so the arenas are heading to the power play. Chowdhury maybe doesn't like the call, but he's still smiling and having a laugh with the official as he gets guided over to the penalty box. So the faceoff will come back inside the Toros zone to the left of goaltender Blaine Deutscher with 15.45 left in the period. Amos Ackerman tries to track the rolling puck. It's picked up now by Creelman as they've got a minute 10 left here on the power play. John T smacks it off the boards and down the ice. Picked up by Ben Holong at center. Holong brings the puck back into the zone as John T tracks it to the far corner. Plays it off the boards, held in by Holung, tries to sweep it on goal. Ackerman at the far face off dot, takes the shot, but it's blocked by John T. Puck pops out to Ben Holung, tries to feed it near side to Creelman. That's broken up by Robinson. Zach Robinson, oh, just couldn't come up with it there against Danielle Main. As Robinson picks it up now at center ice. Dumps it in where it's controlled by Shannon Murphy. Actually, check that. That's Ben Holung making the pass ahead. Creelman takes the shot from just inside the blue line as the penalty now over. So we're back to even strength for a side hockey. Creelman takes the shot, that gets blocked by Poitavin, and then he fires it down the length of the ice. Danielle Main controls the puck, plays it ahead through the neutral zone, where Randy Cameron, coming off the bench, takes possession. Wrestled away from Cameron by Dave Poitavin, and now it's shot inside the Toro zone by Ben Ho Lung. Shannon Murphy keeps it in at the point as Randy Cameron tries to dig it away from the defender. But it's Molchan who comes away with it for the Toros. Emily Molchan can't get past the defensive play of Brian McLean, who kicks it out to center where it's scooped up by Don Cruz. Cruz brings the puck in on the far wing. He's got Molchan heading through the slot, tries to get the pass, but that's picked off by McLean. Shannon Murphy sends that one the length of the ice. It'll go wide of Blaine Deutscher's goal. No icing as Dave Poitavin retrieves it with 12.45 left to play in the period. Murphy hustles over to keep the puck in the zone and prevent an offside, but now it's quickly shot back out and McLean hammers it back inside. 
as Dave Poitavin is able to feed the pass over to Drex Sisson. Don Cruz rushing the puck up. He's got a clear lane here. Potential breakaway for Don Cruz. Gets around Ben Holong. He's got one man to make a pass to if he can. Ben Holong coming off the bench, making a great defensive play to take away the chance from Cruz. The shot from the half wall from Molchen, smothered by Francis Minella with 11.45 left in the period. Zach Robinson shoots, oh what a save by Manella as that one catches his right shoulder. That seemed like it was going for a bar down snipe from Robinson, but an incredible save by Manella. Puck behind the arena's goal, tracked to the near side corner. As Chris Meyer making a good play there for the arena uh, Toros, but they can't hold the zone. Ackerman feeds it ahead, intended for Randy Cameron, picked off by Zach Robinson. Robinson overskates it, gets it right back, as he'll bring it into the offensive zone. Robinson teeing up for a shot, lets it fly off the post! Oh, so close, Robinson inches away from opening up the scoring in this game. Man, that puck hit the inside of the post, and as it fell, it could have rolled one of two ways in past the goal line or out. And unfortunately for Robinson, it curled out. Ten minutes remaining here in the second period as Emily Molchan scoops it up and brings it into the offensive zone. Molchan tries to flip a shot goal bound. That gets blocked by Ben Ho-Lung. Molchan digs it off the wall as Randy Cameron tries to clear the zone. He gets it past Meyer and out across center ice. But Meyer gets to it first for the Toros. Meyer makes the pass ahead for Molchan. Her shot goes off of Danielle Main and just trickles to the side of the post where they whistle it down for the puck being frozen in the crease. Well, let's give a shout out to TB who's cheering on the Toros and one to Tiffany who's cheering on both teams and I know she's excited to catch the next game as in the open division the pride of Bay Roberts Newfoundland Dylan Bradbury gets set to take the ice with the Leafs. And I know Dylan's got a special message that he wants me to pass on to one of our Canadian blind hockey friends but we'll wait to do that for the next game. Off the faceoff, Creelman wins it back to his defenseman, Shannon Murphy. Creelman banks it off the boards and out past Cruz. Creelman once again takes possession. Or check that, that's Robinson with the shot right on. A huge save by Minnelli, tries to tap the rebound past him, but the goaltender freezes it with the big trapper. Well, Minnelli has certainly been the busier of the two goaltenders, making some really good saves to keep this game scoreless. But we do have a bit of a goaltending clinic, as with eight minutes remaining in the second period, neither team has been able to beat either Francis Minella or Blaine Deutscher. Off the face, off the puck, trickles just wide of the post. Robinson shoots off the skate of Mortsagu, goes wide, second chance, as Poitavin pinches in to take that attempt, and he just missed.
Chaudhry tries to flip it towards the face of goal. Mortsugu there defensively. Shot right on. Big rebound. Oh, what a save by Manella. Cruz elevates the backhand, but Manella puts the pad out and makes an incredible stop. His best of the weekend. They call a crease infraction here against the Toros, so the faceoff will come outside the blue line with 7.05 remaining in the second period of play. Off the face-off, Robinson and Cameron come together. The team's scrum for puck possession, and it's Amos Ackerman flipping it up inside the Toro zone. The arenas have not been able to generate much offense here today, as here goes Zach Robinson right in, shoots, and he just fanned on that attempt, trying the wraparound now. Sharp angle shot, and he scores! I'm not sure yet, they haven't given an indication. The initial reaction was, I think he scores. Manella doesn't want to move, I think he knows that puck might be in. No goal, wow. Francis Manella somehow kept that puck from crossing the line. And that's why I had that terrible call. <laughs> I think you could sense the uncertainty in my voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a big save by Manella. I thought Robinson had maybe sneaked it past him, but with 535 remaining here in the period, we are still scoreless. Shot from Molchan. That one gets blocked by Danielle Main. Amos Ackerman battling against Molchan. As Molchan plays it back to the point. Drex Sisson. Unable to get the shot away. As John T along the far side boards can't keep the puck in play. A collision along the near side boards. Randy Cameron able to pop back up. He's all right. The tough grit grinder out there for the arenas as Ackerman breaks into the zone. Emily Molchin has it poked away from her by Ben Ho Lung, shot back into the zone, but a laid offside against the arenas. Ackerman now alerted, so he'll skate out of the zone and the Toros promptly shoot it down the ice. Ben Ho Lung picks up the loose puck. He's streaking up the left wing with 4.05 left in the period. Ho Lung plays it behind the goal over to the far corner. Good hustle there by the Aurora native as, oh boy, he crashed down awkwardly after that collision with John T. And hope it's nothing too serious there for Ben Ho Lung. On the wraparound chance, Ackerman gets stuffed. A combination of Meyer there defensively, the post and the pad of Blaine Deutscher all coming together to deny that chance for Ackerman. Puck cleared to the near side, blue line stays in play as Ackerman directs a backhand towards the goal, but it ends up going wide and now corralled by John T. T shoots it down as it's picked up by Ben Ho Lung with 3.10 to go in the period. Ho Lung checked closely by Robinson. Robinson tries to strip it away from him. The two continue to battle up the near side boards as Robinson finally wrestles the puck away from Ho Lung. Zach Robinson streaking up the far side, has his pocket pick. Nice work there by Creelman, who tries the shot from outside of the zone, and it tracks wide of the goal. Poitavin 
Shannon Murphy getting a bit of a stick hold there on Don Cruz, getting away with that play as Cruz picks up the puck now. Cruz fires it to the line, but not past Creelman. He lets a shot fly, and that just tracks wide of the net as well. The arena's starting to generate some more offense here in this one as the puck gets shot out across center ice where Ted Mortsagu will opt to leave it for Sean Creelman. Brian McLean dumps the puck in with a minute 45 left here in the second period of play. Off the glass, shot right back in as McLean had to leave the zone. Shannon Murphy had a stick on the puck, but now it's shot back up by the Toros, where it's Ted Mortsagu who comes up with it. Ted plays it off the boards and out. Well, it actually doesn't get across the line. Nice job by Don Cruz to hold the zone. Cruz tries to dish it off to Molchan. That one gets intercepted. Cruz gets it right back as he wheels around the high slot and plays it into the far corner. Ted Mortsagu, he has it stripped off his stick by Don Cruz. Creelman pokes it off the stick of Cruz as we've got 45 seconds left here in the period. The Toros and the arenas all squared up at zeros right now. As the puck gets shot inside the arena zone. Creelman takes it. Plays it off the boards in front of his own bench. Poydevin rips it over to the near side. As Ben Holung backhands that one out across center ice. Christopher Meyer flips it as well, and now it's corralled by Holung. Final five seconds of the period ticking away. The teams all head to the break, still tied at zeros. It is as tight of a game as we've had all weekend long here in the Low Vision and Development Division. Third period coming up. You're watching the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament presented by AMI and CNIB Foundation. A little bit of extra strategy being talked over at the Toros bench. The yellow team taking a brief moment before they hit the ice here for the third period of play in this low vision and development division game. 
We're all tied at zeros here, heading into the third period of play. Puck is dropped and we're underway here in the third period. Emily Molchan picks it up, cuts to the net. Shot right on! And again, I'm not saying anything till I see a indication from the referees here. No goal! Wow, that's about as close as you can get. The puck sitting there right at the goal line, but doesn't get across. And Emily Molchan gets stonewalled by Francis Manella. Off the ensuing face-off, it's over to the far corner. As that's Ryan Cousy with the puck in the far corner, trying to center it out front, but he gets stopped by Sean Creelman. Ted Mortsagu tries to clear the line, held in by Johnny Chocolate Milk, John T. As he's got a great picture up on Facebook right now of his pregame. As there's a shot right on by Molchan. And again, Manella gets the paddle down to make the save. As I was mentioning, John T has this great picture right now where he was enjoying a big jug of chocolate milk in the locker room before his game today. And he's out there manning the left point right now for the Toros. Chris Meyer manning the right point. Salman Chowdhury and Zach Robinson, the forwards here for the Toros. Ackerman gets set to square off with Chowdhury. Chowdhury wins the face off over to Robinson. Shot and that just goes wide to the far post. Robinson tracks it to the corner. Check closely by Ackerman. Robinson still with the puck. Robinson tries to swoop a shot goal bound, but that's blocked by Ackerman. As Robinson takes it back here from Ackerman. Zach Robinson across the blue line. Mortsugu gets the poke check in. Nice job as well there by Danielle Main as she knocks it away from Robinson. Christopher Meyer has it poked off his stick by Ben Ho-Lung. Ho-Lung trying to cut to the net. Backhander right on. Big save there by Deutscher. He hasn't faced a ton of shots here today, but there he comes up with a clutch save early in the third period. Robinson picks up the loose puck, fires the shot off the defenseman in Manella able to make the save after Daniel Main inadvertently redirected it in front of her own goaltender. Great work by both teams at both ends of the rink here. As for the arenas, they've got Amos Ackerman, Ben Ho-Lung, Danielle Main, and Shannon Murphy out there. While the Toros counter with Chowdhury, Drex Sisson, Don Cruz, and Dave Poitavin. As we played three and a half minutes here in the third period, we're still scoreless in this game. Sisson takes a bit of a whack to the back. Play continues on as Ackerman tracks the puck in his own skates and will now carry it out across center ice. Ackerman checked closely by Cruz. The two working the near wing, and now it's Cruz wrestling the puck away from the forward. Cruz banks it off the far boards out to center ice where it's scooped up by Ben Ho-Lung. Ho-Lung makes the pass to Ackerman. He slides it back inside the blue line, and now there's room for Dave Poitavin to take off. Poitavin skating with a head of steam, backhands it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. And then Poitavin runs his man behind the goal. That's gonna be a penalty to Dave Poitavin as he took out 
I think that was Ben Ho Long that he just took right out of the play and an easy call there for the officials as Ho Long pups back up to his feet and he recovers after that collision. So we'll have the power play coming up here for the arenas as as we get an old favorite working the camera here, Philly D. On, Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming. And let's give a shout out to our other cameraman, Julian, who's been working so hard all weekend long. He gets a much deserved break here. We got to get another play by play guy, so maybe I can get a break at some point. <laughs> Really great to have Phil and Mel here taking in the tournament with their two young kids and they've been a big part of the event here over the years as Emily Molchan brings the puck up now for the Toros. Molchan cutting to the goal. They're short-handed but she's unable to get a clean shot away. Tries to center it intended for Don Cruz. That's broken up by Sean Creelman. Puck flipped out in front of the goal over to the far side boards where Randy Cameron gets to it first for the arena. Spins into the middle and now Cameron has a lane to skate. Cameron taking it up the ice, driving, takes a shot and John T takes that one right off the midsection. Johnny Chocolate Milk takes it right where the chocolate milk goes and he makes a good block shot on that attempt. I don't know. Where does the chocolate milk go? To the stomach. He took it right off the stomach. Mike Ross asking where's chocolate milk go. Yeah, let's just move on. That was not a very good call by me. As they move the puck around the zone, cleared down the ice, and there's no more time left on the power play for the arenas as the player Poitavin should be popping out of the box momentarily here. Creelman takes the puck up the ice, stripped away from him by Robinson. Zach Robinson opts just to fire that the length of the rink and if it has enough, they'll call it icing. They wave it off, no icing here. 3.20 remaining, 13.20 remaining in the third period. As Ted Mortsagu and Amos Sackerman able to get the puck out to center ice. John T feathers that one out across the line. Quickly fired right back in by the arenas. John T sends it into the far corner. Point of in now out of the box. So we're back to even strength, four on four hockey. As you're tuned into the low vision and development division at the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Let's give a shout out to Gladys Cousy, who's cheering on her son, Ryan, watching from Sherwood Park, Alberta. And what a great moment yesterday for Ryan Cousy as he scored his first ever goal at the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Ryan has been coming to this tournament for a couple of years now. A really great guy off the ice and such an awesome moment for him yesterday to net his first goal in Canadian blind hockey. John T picks up the puck behind the net. 12 minutes remaining here in the third period of play. Poitavin banks it off the boards and down the ice where it's gonna be picked up by Ben Ho Lung. At the far side, hash marks, Ho Lung flips it off the boards but kept in by Molchan. Great play by Emily Molchan to hold the zone. Rolling puck tracking towards the goal and it just curls wide. Molchan in there against Danielle Main. The two ladies going head to head. The pop, puck pops out off the boards and it's controlled by John T. T loses that battle to Shannon Murphy who then doesn't like the physical play. He takes a bit of a swipe back at John T. Murphy is a gritty player, I tell you, man. He does not put up with any nonsense out there. As Molchan moves the puck into the corner, John T pinching in from the point. He's parked right in the blue paint. He tracks it to the far corner now. Playing it behind the goal where it's scooped up by Amos Ackerman. 
Ackerman loses handle of the puck. Molchan takes the shot. Maine gets a stick on it, and then it gets covered up by Manella. Well, I look over to my right, and I see one of the players from Team Canada West who was instrumental in their big win this morning. The Choo Choo Train is right over here. It's Anthony Choo Choo Chula as he gets ready for his game later today, 2.30 p.m. against Team Canada East. An all-Canadian matchup to close out the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. We should set the scenario for that game because going into the matchup, both Canadian teams have the same number of points in the standings. So with that game, as Chaudhry wins the faceoff and his shot just goes wide to the far post, if Team Canada West win in regulation, both teams will be tied and will have to have a overtime as that shot from Don Cruz gets stopped by the paddle of Manella. Let me make this a little more clear. As Cruz receives the pass, it just rolls away from him, and it's cleared down the ice by Creelman. If Team Canada East win, or if the game goes to overtime, then Team Canada East will finish first. If Team Canada West, as that shot fools Manella, and Dave Poitavin opens up the scoring with just 9.25 to go in the third period. The long shot from just inside the blue line trickles past Manella, and the Toros have a 1-0 lead. Dave Poitavin continues to have the hot stick here for the Toros. He scored yesterday. He gets a big goal here to open up the scoring, making it 1-0 for the team in yellow. Well, as I was saying, we're trying to set the scenarios for the select series as Robinson picks up the puck. He tracks it to the near side faceoff dot, shoots, and that one just fires wide of the near post. If Team Canada East win in regulation, or if the game goes to overtime, then they will finish with one more point, well, with more points than Team Canada West. If, the, if Team Canada West win the game in regulation, then the two teams will be tied in the standings for the number of points, and it would result in a 10 minute overtime period to determine the winner after Manella makes another huge save kicking out the left pad to Stonewall Zach Robinson. So a lot on the line in that select series game coming up at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. Poitavin controls it at his own blue line, fires it to the near side wing where it's tracked by Creelman. Creelman flips it ahead intended for Randy Cameron. Cameron picks it up but he's being checked closely right now by Emily Molchan and Drex Sisson, and it's Molchan who wrestles it away from Cameron. Creelman picks it, pit, takes possession for the arenas. He's met by a couple of yellow jerseys. Backhand attempt stopped by Molchan after it came off the stick of Ho Lung. Molchan with room to skate up the right wing. She's challenged by Creelman. Directs the puck towards the goal, but Danielle Main comes up with a good block shot as it's cleared out across center ice. John T fires the puck back inside the zone, 6.45 remaining in the third period of play. Delayed offside, so Christopher Meyer has to evacuate the zone before they can pressure. Ben Holung has it stripped away from him by Robinson, and now Robinson has just one defender to beat. Shoots, big save, gets his own rebound, and he scores on the rebound. Robinson buries it. He's been buzzing all day, and he's finally rewarded with the goal. It's 2-0 Toros. A great effort by Robinson. He never gave up on the play, even after Manella made a great first save on him. Robinson follows up the rebound, 
and pops it for another goal here this weekend. And that gives the Toros an insurance marker as they now lead this game two to nothing with just 5.45 left in the third period. Robinson picks up the puck. Shannon Murphy knocks it off his stick and here goes Ackerman for the arenas. Ackerman has his pocket picked by Robinson. Great back check there by Zach. Drex Sisson gets it to the line and just across as Chris Meyer plays it, but it's an offside call against the arenas. Solomon Chaudhry gets set to take the face off against Ackerman. Chaudhry wins it, but it's Ackerman who's able to regain possession. Brian McLean fires a shot from distance. That one blocked by John T as he brings it over to the near side corner. Ackerman takes it off of his stick. Ackerman gets tripped up by T. No call. Play continues on. I don't know if John T's been assessed a penalty yet here this weekend. Maybe one, which is pretty low for him. He usually spends a couple minutes in the box each game just based on his style of play. Very physical as he dishes that one off to Molchan. Molchan tries to jam it home on the near side. Nothing doing on the first attempt. Far side wraparound, Manila gets the paddle down to make the save as they scrum for the puck. It ends up behind the net into the near corner where McLean fires it around the far side as John T can't quite settle down the rolling puck. Ackerman changes on the fly here as Randy Cameron coming off the bench playing the puck, but they can't capitalize on the numbers. Ackerman gets to the loose puck, takes the shot right on a huge save from Deutscher as he gets the glove and paddle down to cover up the goal and keeps this a 2-0 game with just 3.05 remaining in the third period. Sean Creelman gets set to take the face off. Creelman wins the face off to Ben Holung. The shot attempt gets blocked. Holung with another opportunity off the side of the goal. Over to the far corner, it's picked up by Zach Robinson. Feeds it ahead for Ryan Cousy, but that gets picked off by Sean Creelman. Creelman gains the zone, takes the shot off the shin pads of Don Cruz, and then Dave Poitavin sends it down the ice. Creelman makes the pass to Ho Lung. Ho Lung stick handling the puck into the zone, gets around Robinson. He's got Creelman cutting to the net. Good defensive play by Poitavin to knock that away. Amos Ackerman, he gets tripped up. Again, no call as the shot from Ho Lung just slides wide as he went cross the face of goal with that chance. Puck pinned along the near boards. A minute 30 remaining here in the third period of play as the arenas, who have already won both games in the series, trailing two to nothing in the latter stages of this contest. Cruz gets it to center ice where it's picked up by Ho Lung, stripped away from him by Robinson. Zach Robinson drives wide, cuts his way to the net, shoots, big save, the rebound sitting there, and Manella able to freeze it for the faceoff 
with under one minute remaining in the third period of play. Well, the tournament is winding down. After this, we have just two more games before we tie a bow on the 2019 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament as we're inside the final 40 seconds of this third period. The Toros with a 2-0 lead. The Arenas have already taken the series, winning the first two games. But some nice redemption here from the Toros on Sunday as they seem poised to pick up a victory. But maybe the arenas can do something to change that outcome as here goes Amos Ackerman. His stick tied up by John T. Sean Creelman takes the shot and that just goes wide of the far post. As the final few seconds ticking off the clock, T tries to tie it up in the corner there with Creelman. The buzzer sounds and the Toros take this game by a final score of two to nothing. A great weekend of action here in the low vision and development division game. This was our lowest scoring game in this division. A two nothing shutout victory for the Toros and a big smile there on the face of goaltender Blaine Deutscher as he picks up a shutout here on Championship Sunday. Well, we got two more games left here before we call it the tournament as we'll get set to join the Open Division for their finale. And then the Select Series concludes shortly after 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time with Canada West taking on Canada East. One more shout out to the live chat thread, including Tiffany, Don TB, and Darcy and Sandy watching from Vegreville, Alberta. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to leave the stream running here as the medal presentation will be happening shortly. Uh, but I'm going to step off the mic for a moment. So enjoy the medal presentation, and we'll be back for the open division between the Leafs and the St. Pats.
Here's the here's the only problem with And your gold medalists from the Torons. In order for